My name is Jordy Trachtenberg, and this is Slurp and Destroy. When I say ramen, do you think cup of noodles? That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about an artisanal event. Ramen is constantly morphing, changing in concept, flavor, and appearance. Brothless ramen, experimental ramen, and even a ramen burger. It has no boundaries, just like me. This is crazy. This is crazy. I know now one of my life's missions is to find that perfect bowl of ramen. This is what Slurp and Destroy is all about. Hillendale is a restaurant on the Lower East Side, and it's really an American kind of bistro, hipster hangout place. But check this out. It's also known as a pop-up, which means once it closes, Benkei Robin pops up in their restaurant using that space. From 12.30 at night until 4 a.m., you can get one bitchin' bowl of ramen. Hey, Chef Ito, nice to see you. So you're gonna to explain to me how you assemble some ramen today? Sure. So I've been following Chef Ito around for a while from pop-up to pop-up, and I'm probably his biggest fan and definitely his fattest customer. Today, I'm gonna to make kaisen ramen, which is seafood based. My favorite. Your favorite. My favorite. Here's Chef Ito. He's from Japan. He studied ramen his whole life. And look what's next to him. Some giant Jewish dude covered in tattoos that loves to suck noodles. This is the chicken stock with uh, soy sauce flavor. That's the base of it, the heart, of the, of, the, 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 heart yes. of the broth. Broth, yes. I'm gonna add ichiban dashi, my secret ingredient. That's your secret ingredient? <laughs> so the dashi is almost like a fish flavor, correct? Yes. That's the magic right there. Kaisen ramen is a seafood-based broth that's unbelievably delicious. How delicious, you ask? Honestly, I'd probably drink it from your mother's shoe. Unsalted butter. Butter. And minced garlic. Minced garlic. Look at that. It's a scallop, right? Yes. With the belly still attached to it. This is only from uh, Hokkaido. Oh, North, really? Northern part of uh, Japan. Shrimp. Snow crab meat. Now, this is real crab meat. It's not polyp or fake uh, crab meat. There's no meat. imitation. This is real this snow is, crab. Yeah, this, yeah. yeah. We need to boil the noodles. Noodle time. Chef Ito has a selection of noodles. Uh, each one is designed for a different broth. This is good with uh, shoyu and the kaisen. This is actually customized. Just for you? Yes. They use uh, egg, some tapioca. Tapioca? Tapioca for the special cream. like creaminess. Yes. Yeah? Wow. How long do you boil the noodles for? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So you constantly stir it around. You keep it keep it moving, keep it grooving. Yes. And hold for three to five seconds. The secret with ramen is understanding what's gone into your bowl, how the noodle is prepared, the depth of the broth, how the toppings work together with the broth and noodle. Now the clam. Top neck. Yeah, top neck. Scallop. And also how the bowl is arranged. Shrimp. Right on top. The chef has taken a lot of time to think about where it goes. Fresh crab. How it's aesthetically pleasing. Three types of seaweed. Aotosaka. Akatosaka. Akatosaka. And the wakame. So the last thing that you add is nori, which is dried seaweed. It's like a little salt explosion in your mouth. Yes. And you can smell the ocean. Yeah. Yeah, you really can. The colors are absolutely beautiful. Arigato. Doitashimashita. I'm unable to eat a bowl of ramen without taking a picture of it first for my ramenology blog. Let's give it a taste, sir. There you go. When the bowl is served to you, it should be piping hot and kind of painful to eat. Take a quick slurp of the noodle. Which I like that pleasure pain thing anyways. It's perfect. Kind of like American barbecue where it's very, very messy. There should be no shame in slurping. I totally get some kind of crazy buzz from it. I love nori. Some people say seaweed helps your hair grow. That's true. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. It has a deep seafood flavor and a saltiness to it that really does remind me of the ocean but it's not overbearing. It, it really comes together in a harmonious way. There's balance. You can tell by tasting it that it, it works, it clicks. That's what I'm trying to achieve. Here I am with Chef Ito. It's an artist who's creating and then watching someone enjoy and digest his creation. It's a bonding moment. 